Magnificent example of Olmiat from the Kalahari Manganese Fields, Northern Cape of South Africa. This would be the the light beige Olmiat. Uh, fluoresces uh, a sort of a, a red red to a pink under shortwave UV light. Sorry, the label just came off there. It got stuck to my glove. Uh, over here we have a little formation of calcite. I think the still pictures, I didn't quite get in clarity. Little almost dog teeth of the calcite sitting on the side. Now, um, the Kalahari, the manganese mines, uh, uh, calcite fluoresces in many cases under long wave UV light. So you may have on this particular piece, you'll definitely have short wave fluorescence on the uh, Olmiites. You see these little interesting, what it is, if you look closely at these crystals, it's little almost a minaret formation, uh, a lengthy crystal with a with a almost uh, a triangular head. And these are compacted together uh, to, to appear like botroids. Some may, I still think poldephyrite is actually pretty much the same material. In that case, this would be a lovely example of poldephyrite. But according to the, the, the ones in the know, poldephyrite came out of a certain section of vessels, which this didn't. This was from Channing 2, uh, Olmiat, associated with calcite. Lovely example of this species. From a display point of view, would lie flat like this so you could have it going around like this a little bit of projection off the main ore looking from the top down you'd have this effect going around like this and of course uh, uh, I, I would display it on a stand because you don't want to discount this little section with the lovely calcite uh, uh, flowers going on the side there all the way from South Africa Olmiat and calcite